What's up guys and welcome to the video. This is King of the Tier. It's just a bit of an informational video series that I'm going to be doing in terms of looking at base tech tree planes, which planes are the best at those tiers and the benefits of those planes. So let's kick things off. Let's have a quick squeeze at the Bristol 133, which is our runner up coming in at third place. Um, it takes the crown of survivability with a health pool of 149 hit points. It is um, very low airspeed, low survivability, um, low guns. It's it's a typical tier three. Um, however, that, that tanking ability can be beneficial depending on how you um, potentially want to look at how you play this plane. Um, in terms of a generic aircraft, it is, it's a fun plane to fly. So it's definitely worth looking at. Um, it's definitely one of the steps you need to take if you want to move down that Spitfire line. So let's have a look at the KI-27, which takes our second place. Now, the reason why this guy takes second place and is not tied with the A5M is due to its roll rate. So this guy takes our King of Turns. Its gun armament is uh, average, but it's it's... Its massive selling point is the fact that it will outturn just about anything at this tier. Um, it will outturn everything at this tier. So, bearing in mind, if you're looking for a turn fighter, definitely stick to your KIs at tier 3, that is. However, the reason why this guy didn't get number 1 is because of the Hawk 75M. The king of the tier, in my eyes, is the best overall suited aircraft at that tier to complete its specific role. The Hawk 75 has the ability to go high, fly low. It has the ability to kill. It has the ability to run. It is a very well-rounded aircraft. It is extremely capable in every role that it tries to do. The only thing that I feel it lacks a little bit in, and that's typical of tier three, is survivability um, and turning. Its turning is is quite low. However, that ability to run, climb, kill, those sorts of things are, are extremely important, and I believe that that makes this this aircraft the king of this tier. So, without further ado, before I get into the game. Just a, a little reminder, I won't be specializing these aircraft, I'll just be looking at um, Elited, um, no equipment, no skill pilots, because these videos are aimed at new players who are coming through and who might not have an idea of where they want to go, what they want to play, uh, what the best is, what the worst is, those sorts of things. So let's get into it and have a look at a game. The front line. All right, guys, we're in battle we now in the Hawk 75. Just gonna have a squeeze around. So we got two airfields and a mining plant. That mining plant is key at the moment. So I'm gonna go straight there. I'm gonna use my boost and my speed, get some height, and get stuck into some of these enemies here. Try not to be first into that cap. We should be safe from AA now. However, I need to get down there because there is something. There's a heavy there which is going to be going for me. No, it's not. Let's go down here for this. Let's go down here. We've got kill me wings down here. Sorry, Sky Off. Trying to showcase a plane here, mate. Alright, let's get down here. So as you can see, this aircraft does a significant amount of damage in a short space of time. It is very effective at doing damage. Unlike the KI-27, 
you can't rely on your turning. Whereas this plane allows you to be able to utilize different statistics or more things than the KI. Instead of just turning, it's able to utilize altitude, it's able to utilize... Oh, where are you going? What are you doing? It's able to utilize a lot more of its potential. Where the KI-27 doesn't have the ability to chase things up high. Doesn't have the ability to do all the things that this can do. I need my boost back. Wow. Air supremacy already. That's insane. Let's see if I can't get in there a bit more and, and do some more before this battle is over. So long story short, this plane just has the ability to do shock and awe. It has the ability to, to change battles. Uh, whereas the KR-27 is sort of limited to defending. very hard for them at this lower tier to, to come back from superiority. Uh, I dare say this is the uh, closed and sealed case right now. I do want to get a kill or two more. Oh, they might come back. They might... No, they're not going to do it. Not going to do it. Keep it up. Victory is almost ours. And that's game. Nice, quick, victory short one. Victory. Only a third place. However, the amount of personal points I did manage to gain in a Tier 4 battle, um, I think, proves that this aircraft is extremely capable. So, I'll see you back in Hangar, guys. Welcome back to the Hangar, guys. Um, so, that was the battle there. As you can see here for the scoreboard, I, um, I outscored every Tier 3 aircraft. Um, I did get pipped at the post by, um, by some Tier 4 players, uh, which is fine. I mean, it, it makes sense. Uh, the only reason I did come third as well is because of uh, J Jamaican Terminator and his uh, Focke-Wolf 159 getting himself a Chevron, which um, is partly bad play on my part. Whereas I should have been playing specifically to my role and, and going after more fighters and such. Um, I just played the targets that were in front of me. Which is something I do way too often. But, um, in terms of the aircraft itself, I think it performs extremely well for its tier. I think it ticks four out of the five boxes, which make it king, out of, king of the tier. I think that it has great guns, lots of them. It has great airspeed. Um, the best airspeed out of the fighters. It also has solid survivability. It's not the best in that means, but it's solid survivability considering its um, its abilities elsewhere. Its altitude performance is outstanding. Now, I understand that these, these low-tier games aren't necessarily played at height. However, if utilized correctly, um, using your height um, as a form of potential energy um, as well as uh, a means to escape or evade or attack and and defend. Um, so I think it's a very important statistic to have in your in your in your corner. Um, it does have lackluster maneuverability, and that's apparent. Um, however, if you're playing the plane correctly, using its airspeed, using its its um, altitude advantages, um, I think that this plane will nine times out of ten come out on top. Um, so yeah, ticking those four out of the five boxes, um, there we have it. We have our tier three fighter king of the tier. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.